You know, most people know that I love to catch fish, but more than that, like you, probably love to eat fish. And I've got my Hank's Crispy Fry, an old time recipe. I've got the original that I'm gonna talk about today and also the Cajun. If you like a little bit of spice, there's nothing like Cajun. Today I'm doing my favorite fish, mahi-mahi. It's really great and tender. One of my favorites and I'm soaking it in just a little bit of egg and milk. And that's gonna be ready for the good old flip and fry. So I've taken the Cajun out, which we're gonna use today. And a lot of people, what they do is they'll put it in a bowl or a Ziploc bag and they'll play with it that way and they get, get a little bit messy with your hand. This is what's really great about this unit. This is my flip and fry unit. All it is is a grill, Tupperware container, dishwasher safe. It's unbelievable. And I'm putting all the Cajun in here. You probably don't need it all. I tell you, it goes a long way, but we're gonna empty the whole package. And all I'm gonna do is put the grill back in it, just like that. Let's just put this here. And there you go. All the product, the seasoning, is in the bottom. And you can see there's, there's a Cajun seasoning all in here, Hank's Crispy Fry, you can see all through the bottom. And all the fish is gonna sit on top. So now, all you have to do is take your fish, just make you drip it off, take maybe four or five fingers you want, maybe even six, it does quite a bit. And the nice thing is, it's just not good for fish. You can end up using chicken, you can use shrimp. Boy, I tell you, just using Hank's Crispy Fry on shrimp or oysters. And all you do is put that Tupperware lid on, and what I'm gonna do is just, hey, it's exactly what it's called, flip and fry. And you just move it back and forth like that, make sure all the seasonings are going through those holes. So perfect, make sure it's all, and then you just open it up, and man oh man, look at this. All fully seasoned, ready to put in the fryer. So we're gonna start our first batch, and I'm telling you what, you'll see how crispy fry really works. Now I'm going to my favorite, oop, yeah, I can hear that oil, just put a little splash there. Now I'm gonna take the first one in here, drop it right in the oil, and yes, it's ready. This is what the fingers are gonna be, Hank's crispy fry, we're gonna get them all in here. Another one, and the big chunky one right there, and I can do another one on the outside. So here they are all going, I'm going to make sure that they're all covered in oil. The oil has to be hot. This Disket product's amazing because you don't have to put a lot of oil in it. It's keeping that heat centralized, which is really important, on the bottom. And nice about Hank's Crispy Fry is that it seals the fish right away on the bottom so the oil can't get in. And that's really, really important. So right now it's cooking up really well. I just keep checking the bottom. You'll see it's just starting to brown right now. It's almost ready to do a, a flip turn. Now, if you don't have a disket, you may want to get one, but if you don't, frying pan, just a little bit of oil. You can do it on a barbecue, the same thing, just with a stainless steel frying pan to have it there. Make sure it's just a metal handle. Don't put the plastic handle in there, all these little tips. But So some of these are ready to turn. Let's just look at the fish here now. First piece there, look at that. Look at that, it's golden brown. Another one, golden brown. And that's what's happening. Just perfect. It doesn't take long. It really doesn't. Wow, this is so perfect. I wish you, you could actually sm smell that aroma that's coming off this disket. Man, oh man, it is so good. Just make sure, now these are almost ready. Get the paper towel. These are ready to go. Put them down. Oh my goodness, take a look at that. That is so awesome. These fingers are excellent. Look at that. My goodness. When I tell you this stuff is great, it is great. I wish you could taste it, but just in a few seconds, I'm gonna cook up the rest of them. Man, oh man, Hank's Crispy Fry, just like that. These fingers are just perfect. Now you can cut your fingers any size. You can cut them shorter. I like to have them long fingers, two, three for a serving. And all you do is again, no mess, no fuss, nothing. And there it is. And all it is is just flipping back and forth. And like I said, you can do anything in here. You can do strips of chicken. It works great with that. Pork, veal, whatever you like to do. The same thing, just with the seasoning. I tell you, if you never tried the good old shrimp, man oh man, the seasoning works excellent on that. Just pop it up. And I'm ready, oil's still hot. There they are. And right again. Perfect strips. Oh yeah. Last batch. Last one's going in. 
Perfect. And there you go. This, you know, you take in the house now, right now, you know, and if you've got, you don't want to reuse it, make sure once you put fish into the seasoning, you just get rid of the seasoning. This a 10 ounce package does a lot of fish. It'll do probably, I don't know, 20, 30 fingers like this. So, and all you do is just empty it out, dishwasher safe, put it in there, and man, it comes out clean, and it's a great container. So let's see how our fish are doing. Getting golden brown, ready to be turned. Oh yeah. Yes, indeed. Look at that. That's the key is to have the oil nice and hot. You don't want to get them burning. Seconds to cook. All strips are in there a few seconds. Having the oil at the right temperature, using a good product like the biscuit, man oh man. Cooking's easy. Man oh man, they're almost ready. Look at these beautiful fish fingers. Ready to turn that off because they're almost ready. Oh my goodness. I wish, I wish you could smell the aroma that's coming off these. All right, time to pull them out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Yes, indeed. Now take a look at those fish fingers. Hank's Crispy Fry, Mahi Mahi Fingers, and you know what? I'm gonna give one a try. Oh man, oh man. Look how tender that fish is. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're missing something great.